So the Alpha Pack narrative event is live right now. What changed? What's new with it? What can you do with this event? Well, let's dive right into it. We have a whole new event pass along with this Alpha Pack event here, guys. This is a 10 tier event pass. It's going to be lasting for two weeks, so it shouldn't be too tough to get through all your unlocks right here. So this is mostly for the Rock Shasta core. As you can see, we got like a nice little pack right here different kind of visor, a new uh, wrist piece, which is gonna be very important because it's very minimal attack, uh, customization with that. The Morgan helmet, which was tested by Fred from Blue Team himself, which is kind of cool, a little bit of lore right there on top of that. And we also have some new shoulder pads as well. Nothing too crazy there. The kind of blue, black, and white coating that kind of matches Fred's coloring in a way, honestly. A outstanding red and black coating. We've never seen red and black combos before. That's coming on the battle rifle, which actually does look pretty nice, like I lie. And a new wrist piece attachment, which looks to be kind of more universal, which I am actually really liking that one a lot. But as always, to unlock everything, you have to go through challenges, and all the challenges are going to be back at last Spartan standing here, guys. So that's where you're going to have to play if you want to try to get your unlocks. Again, this for the game list. It's all pretty much standard stuff like you had last time with all the BTB maps included with last Spartan standing. But there are some significant changes that have been made to last Spartan standing that we definitely need to cover. So now the loadouts in last Spartan standing have completely changed here guys so if you want to look at exactly this is what it's looking like on the screen right here but we'll go over real quick with you guys so now the new loadout you start with the disruptor then once you get 100 xp it's the disruptor with an assault rifle 300 xp gets you the assault rifle sidekick 650 xp gets you the sidekick and vk 70 commando so these are all first four completely different loadouts that we had previously then once you get the 1150 you get the commando shotgun which was what we had previously 1850 when it comes to xp points you get the bulldog as well as the battle rifle same as last time but now they added in an additional tier on top of that which is the battle rifle energy sword at 2750 if you're really dominating the battlefield yeah you can get the top tier the danger zone of last barn standing has certainly changed as well where they said previously the two triggers that would cause the danger zone to close in is that once it passed five minutes and 25 seconds in a match or once all players are out of response, that's when the circle will close in. It's going to be different now, whereas now it's going to be five minutes have passed in the match or all players are out of response, or when five players are left in the match regardless of respawns. Now, personal score has changed as well, how you get these XP points within the game, where now it says uh, previously where you were collecting the AI cores that were left behind, right? You get 300 XP, but now that's been buffed up to 500 XP if you're able to collect an AI on the map, making it much more rewarding and probably, you know, something that would be worth doing now in Last Spartan Standing. And they also talked about the self-destruction. So if you fall off the map or something like that, you used to lose 100 points. That doesn't happen anymore. Now, while I got you here, let's talk about the shop that comes along with us, which seems it doesn't really apply to what's going on with the event, right? But let's first talk about the Celux armor set right here. This is basically like uh, Admiral Paul Spartan Palmer's uh, armor set is now going to be available here for Mark 7 to get the same helmet right here. Actually, a pretty sweet coating, which I wish I could just like buy the coating by itself. I actually really like this coating a lot. It comes with a different uh, helmet attachment here, a different visor as well, a different kind of chest piece, which looks all right, eh, kind of thing. A uh, shoulder pad, which looks kind of meh as well. A uh, pretty decent looking glove on top of that, different kind of knee pad, which doesn't really stand out to me a whole lot. So uh, to me, I think I might just kind of pass on this. I wish I could just like buy the coating for like 200 credits. I totally do that. Now, the next two certainly have my interest right here. We have the Cambion, if I pronounce that correctly, uh, helmet here for the Rock Stasa core. So again, this is specifically for that core. Maybe we do know that cross core will be coming in. Uh, it seems like helmets might be kind of one of the first things to kind of switch around here. But again, once cross core actually happens, we might be able to mix it up a bit here. But this does like, really look pretty awesome, honestly. It's a pretty sweet, like skull looking kind of helmet right here, right? The attachment on it is really kind of interesting as well. I actually really like it. It's kind of a weird kind of. Uh, I don't know, face guard effect to it. I actually really enjoy that one as well. Another attachment right here, which kind of goes on top of the uh, the head right here. And then also another kind of, you know, head attachment here. I don't really see my, and then you get a bunch of like, you know, installation 07 uh, emblems, which is kind of filler for me. Uh, I would re, I'm really kind of more interested in this helmet and this uh, helmet attachment right here on top of that. For 700 credits, it's like, yeah, you know, the cool thing, the, it looks really awesome, right? But the thing is that like, 
This thing is like, to me, it's like one of the first obviously like really cool helmets that we've had for Rakshasa. And if people are willing to pay for armor cores for this game, they definitely would buy this. And so then I feel like it kind of loses that like coolness and that uniqueness factor with this helmet. Because I feel like if this is going to be like something I would want to buy, I feel, I'm sure a lot of people will also be buying it and using it as well, making me feel a little bit less, well, unique and badass in the battlefield. And I think it's kind of inherent issue when it comes to this kind of style of customization right here. Another cool thing though, perfect sublimity coming in here. This it actually does have my interest quite a bit as well for 500 credits. I'm calling this the Frost Fists when it comes to the uh, attachment here. This actually does look really awesome. And for 500 credits, I mean, it's not that bad. And I mean, it looks really freaking cool to be honest. So I might have to pick this one up. Like all, all everything inside me says no, but my body is telling me yes. Terrible R. Kelly impressions to the side. We also have the old iron stone coatings right here for your uh, mongoose right here. Yes, yeah, right, they're mongoose, not mongooses or mongai, uh, mongoose. And then right here, you can see a different thing. So it's kind of like, just like a rusty brown kind of look. Not that interesting to me, but it's only for 200 credits, so it's not too crazy. We also got a brand new cinematic with this narrative event, guys. So let's check that out right now. Commander Grinia told me what you did for Spartan Dane. We've had each other's back since the Vihar collapse. Without Din, I would have died more times than I want to count. But sometimes, you have to fight on your own. I'd like to see what you can do, when the only one who has your back is you. So yeah, that's about it when it comes to the cinematic. Nothing really there honestly like the first cinematic that we got with this event was awesome like it really set the stage up for what we're going to be doing next you get to see your spartan within the world and stuff like that within the cinematic great you know introduce a bunch of new characters and then this next cinematic just kind of falls up going like yeah go play last, last spartan standing and it's like that that's it i don't know i was kind of expecting a little bit more like story with this narrative event um, unless something else is going to happen at the end of this event, which would be really interesting. Uh, though I haven't heard anything about something like that happening within Halo. Though if that does happen, you know I'll let you guys know here on the channel. Like this tweet here from 343 kind of teased that there would be like more story elements coming with the second half of the narrative event for season two. Saying they're here like, you know, with this Morgan helmet, which you can unlock within the season event right now, that 104 tested it himself. 104 being Fred from Blue Team. Like did Fred become a lone wolf or something? I don't know. That would be some really cool world building stuff, but we just didn't really get anything. If you're new to the channel and missed any content from me recently, check out this place right here. Get linked to all my gaming news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.